But also in 1992, a book came out uh, by Marv Olasky, which really is an amazing book, The Tragedy of American Compassion, in which he, he outlines and, and documents the, the utter destruction that the American welfare state has done, how it has robbed the dignity uh, and, and the security, frankly, from the, the people who received, who received welfare. He, he, he um, traces the whole, the, the whole arc of how, at the turn of the century, the, the American progressive saw the great results of the voluntary charities like uh, uh, Salvation Army or the Catholic Church and said, these progressives said, well, hey, if it works for those guys, why don't we have big government do it? Why don't we have government take over this role? And it ended, of course, being a huge, re just a, a simple redistribution, confiscation of wealth and, uh, you know, <laughs> the subsidy, frankly, of poverty and failure. And if you subsidize poverty and failure, you're simply going to get a lot more of it. And so what the progressives didn't see about government getting into the philanthropy business, of government getting into the charity business, instead of just keep, keeping its role uh, limited to pr uh, protecting liberties and to the common affairs of the state, uh, what the progressives didn't realize why the Catholic charities and why Salvation, Salvation Army had been so successful is because those organizations really minister to the real problem of the folks that that need charity and that is um, a poverty of the soul, poverty of the spirit. They haven't been taught how uh, their, mis their mistakes, as Burke says, intemperate men cannot be free, their, their passions forge their fetters. They haven't been uh, shown. And so when you look at the folks that, that are raised in a welfare family, and it's, they, they, you just look at them and you go, these people never had a chance. They, they're not being given an education. They're not being given the role models, um, whether it be from their parents who are dependent on the government or from the people in their community. There's no little platoon of role models that show them the right way to live. And all, uh, as Marvel Lasky points out, that all that government philanthropy, all that government charity, uh, really does is, is perpetuates that if you that bad that bad charity drives out good charity and speaking of good charity another book I always like mentioning when I when I talk about Marv's book is is the book who really cares by Arthur Brooks and this book really uh, <laughs> does an amazing job it has all the data which shows why conservatives are far more generous than liberals the progressives think that well I don't have to give to charity because I'm in favor of government policies redistributing the wealth. You know, progressives are always really, really good at spending other people's money. But this book, Who Really Cares, really shows uh, who gives, who doesn't, and he shows quite obviously that it is the conservatives who give far more of their time, talent, and treasure uh, to charity. 